Do you want to create a professional resume, but you don't know how to start? Then this video is for you. My name is Tamar and I work at Student Career Services. In this video, I'm going to share 10 tips for a top CV. Let's get started. Tip number one. Realize that your resume is an extended business card. Make it personal so it represents you as a person. You can do so by using color, font and a specific format. And very important, put your name on top so it draws attention immediately. Show the best version of yourself without exaggerating. Tip number two. Make it scannable, just as in this example. A recruiter uses nine seconds to decide if you're an interesting candidate, so make sure the information is easy accessible by using clear headings, for example. Now let's take a look at the different components of a resume. Tip number three is about the personal details. In order to make a good first impression, use a professional photo showing your face clearly and with a neutral background. Besides that, a professional email address and a reference to your LinkedIn profile are a must on top of your address and phone number. Tip number four. Always add a personal profile. This personal profile is a short summary about who you are and what you're aiming for. Very important for recruiters. Write about your qualities, interests and ambitions and be authentic. This might be one of the most difficult yet most important parts of your resume. Tip number five. Give extra information about your education besides the name of your program and institution. Explain what you have learned and mention important courses. As you can see here, you can also add your GPA and the title of your thesis. Tip number six. Order your work experience achronologically, so put the latest experience on top. Mention first the position, then the company, and highlight your tasks and responsibilities bullet-wise. Tip number seven. You might think that you don't have much relevant work experience, but side jobs teach you transferable skills that are very useful in future jobs. So add them to your resume. And what's good to know, Internships can be listed as work experience as well. Tip number eight. Think about all the extra activities that you did besides studying and add them in this section. For example, a board year, voluntary work or coaching at your local sports club. These activities underline your commitment and soft skills that you developed. Tip number nine. What kind of skills do you have? Some of them you already mentioned in your personal profile, but the ones that you haven't, you can add in this section. Think about languages, but also about specific computer skills that you possess. And last but not least, tip number 10. Complete your resume by listing your interests. Although they might not seem relevant, they reveal information about you as a person, things that you like and the qualities that you have. So they give a nice personal touch. These were my 10 tips for a top CV. In case you have any questions or you would like to have feedback on your own resume, you can check out the career portal or sign up for our consultation hour. Good luck!